What's up everybody, welcome back to Double T Gaming, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Now if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that back in the day, I used to make Pokemon videos. Some of these videos revolved around the game Sun and Moon before they came out, but they mainly focused on the Pokemon XYZ anime. And I've made several videos supporting why I think XYZ is the best series of Pokemon there has ever been. And after all this time, I still believe that it is, and I really don't see anything topping it. And since XYZ has ended, we moved on to Sun and Moon, and with that, I sort of stopped with the Pokemon videos altogether for a while, so I can sort of just absorb all the new things that are brought to the franchise. Now, I think when we all first saw that Sun and Moon anime trailer, we were all pretty skeptic to say the least. It's as if the anime took a step back after the epicness of XYZ, and I still believe that it has in some way. Ash looks a lot younger, and the animation is still something I'm trying to get used to for Ash in particular. The storytelling as a whole has also completely changed. Instead of Ash going out looking for an adventure, it's kind of more like the adventure's just coming to him so he's able to stay in school. And that's something I can't really wrap my head around quite yet. I guess after 20 years, I'm used to the cut and dry Ash traveling with the group to go accomplish his dream, but in this series, it just doesn't look like that's going to happen. It seems more like every episode focuses on someone different in their big group and their relationship with Ash. Now this may be because we're only like 12 episodes into the anime, but usually by now, in the past, the ball has already started rolling, so this is an entirely different way of approaching things. Now don't get me wrong, these aren't all negative aspects of the new anime for everyone, but I can sense that people who have been following the show for a while are still trying to adapt to the new concepts. But if I were to be 100% honest by the Sun and Moon anime, I'd have to say, it's not that bad. The animation of basically everyone but Ash looks real crisp, it looks like the battles flow just as smoothly as they did in XYZ, and they are incredibly action-packed. The first couple of episodes were amazing and that Pikachu vs Tapu Koko was an incredible battle. And it was pretty satisfying to see Pikachu use his first ever Z move and the power behind the build up to it. They did something similar with the XYZ anime also with Ash jumping off the Lumios Tower. They packed a lot of action in those first two episodes and aired them back to back trying to get the viewer hooked. And after those first two episodes, it sort of dies down and does a classic introduction of the characters and Sun and Moon is following that same formula. Then came the battle with the Toad and Pokemon Gumshoes, and that was an awesome battle as well. The animation of it was so fluent, and it looks like Rowlet has a lot of potential to be this generation's Greninja, with his ability to move around so quickly. And then one of the more recent episodes where Ash took on the Grand Trial and used a normal Z-Move with Pikachu. And speaking about Pikachu, one thing I do like about this series is that we haven't seen him reset as much as we have in the past. I mean sure, Pikachu's able to beat a Metagross and a Tyranitar in the same battle like he did in Kalos, he should be able to wipe the floor with just a Hariyama easily. But if we go back to like Unibot where he lost to a fresh Snivy, we see that in Alola, he isn't as weak as he normally is to start out a region. And in all honesty, the whole Team Rocket and Beware thing is actually pretty funny. Every time they're about to blast off like normally, you see, just see a giant pink bear sprinting across the water or something, take them away, and their reactions are pretty priceless. All in all, there are still a couple things I'm skeptical about in this series. I mean, we already know that there isn't going to be a movie based around Alola for a while, in case you don't know, this year is going to be Pokemon's 20th anniversary, so the movie's going back to Ash and Kanto when he first started his journey, which I am incredibly hyped about. But going back to Sun and Moon, I still have mixed feelings about it. I like how the battles are turning out, and I like how Tapu Koko is focusing on Ash and Pikachu. I'm just still trying to get used to the new concepts behind the anime, and I really don't think I will ever get used to Ash's face. I mean, yeah, sure, it does seem a little bit more childish than it has in the past, but I think that's the intended audience. But once again, it's really not that bad. Let me know what you guys think about the series in the comment section down below. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you want more Pokemon content. Thank you guys for watching. This is Double T Gaming. See you guys in the next video.